And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some zombie Tiana. Got another donation deck here. This is a viewer submitted deck. I think they said it was from uh, Good Day Maverick made this deck. Another awesome streamer. Um, so this deck is going to be mostly all Shadow Isles. You can tell we got 36 Shadow Isle card. Just the four Demacia ones. We got a couple single combats and a couple Tianas. Because Tiana is one of the best cards has like one of the best summon triggers it's so it's not a play it's a summon so whenever i'm summoned rally and so what we're going to do is try to have tiana keep coming back and play we're going to have like chronicler of ruin this is going to be the the major card right you can kill tiana bring it back and so resummon it and then rally we also have miss call you know like maybe if we can combine those together uh like play a tiana that we untap we chronicler it we attack and then after attack we miss call bring another tiana back rally again attack again <laughs> so we can we can do that um so that's kind of what our deck's about but then we also have um you know we have rekindlers as well same kind of thing a great summon trigger uh that we can bring them back also wraith caller another great summon trigger with the allegiance how it, it summons mistrates and you know we we're going to be going with our mistrates get a bunch of mistrates and keep pumping them up as well um, and then, you know, our, our champions are just awesome. Callista, Thresh, they're just uh, really good, especially when we have things that are dying. And, uh, and like, Callista has a great... Um, has a, uh, some great synergy here as well. If we have a leveled-up Callista, it could bring back a Rekindler that brings back Callista. Or, leveled-up Callista um, could bring in Tiana. And that's another way for our zombie Tiana deck to work, is if we have a dead Tiana, we attack, and therefore our attack tokens gone this will bring in a tiana which will then um you know have us rally again now Callista does say each round the first time i attack so it's not it, you don't get to attack route you know uh get your Callista trigger rally get to do it again it's that would be awesome you don't get to you don't get infinite attacks with Callista tiana but you still get that one extra attack Okay, uh, so that's that's what we got here. So this is Zombie Tiana. All right, we're gonna go play five games over in a ranked. Um, no, I've not played Twisted Fizz with Ionia. Somebody was mentioning that on on YouTube. I don't, I haven't seen that kind of deck. I don't know what Ionia spells they would play, but no, I, I haven't. I've just done Twisted Fizz with Freljord mostly. <laughs> Nobody reads Callista's text. They always just surrender. <laughs> well, we'll take that. We'll take that, too. If they just want to surrender. <clears throat> Nothing wrong there. We'll take that. Double Vile Feast. Alright, we're going to keep the Double Vile Feast. This looks like an aggressive deck over here. My dog is jumping up. What you want, puppy? Look at these, look at these puppy girls. <laughs> what do you want? The stream's not over, we got another deck to play. I think the stream's over and it's time for them to, to eat dinner. It's only seven o'clock, you eat at eight o'clock. You know that. I, I feed them at eight and eight. Eight in the morning, eight at night. And it's seven o'clock, not eight o'clock. You won't convince them though. Here, you wanna come up here? Come here. There you go. There's nothing to fear. No, puppy. It's my dog puppy. My other dog Harvey is over here. I'm petting her as well. Uh, let's see. That's an Elise. That's not cool. So I'm going to. I'm going to drain one from the Elise with this. Vile Feast, so that then next turn I can play Blighted Caretaker and take out the Elise. That's my plan. <laughs> yeah, Puppy's like, it's me time. Stop what you're doing. Feed me, pet me. It's me time. Everyone 
in the garden. You dogs are making it difficult to play. Difficult to stream. Should I challenge Grenadier? I guess so. Because Grenadier could potentially trade with Callista, where the 1-1 one -one Spiraling is not trading with Callista. We'll take that. I mean, basically, we each have... <clears throat> I had one drop, two drop, three drop. They had one drop, two drop, two drop, and we traded those, and I got a spiraling left. We ride for Noxus. Hmm. All right. Well, we gotta have Callista trade there. We're gonna take a bunch of damage. We had one more mana to vile feast that thing. That would have been nice. What delightful so we're down to nine. Down to five. Darius is going to be a huge problem, to be honest. I actually don't think I can Yeah, I guess we can I guess we can do this. Because if they do have Darius, we can reset our Thresh life total. Please just don't have Darius. Don't have Darius. No Darius, no Darius. Play something else. Play a little spider. Oh, great curve. Puts us down to one. Not a very high life total. That is a very big spider. That was a good, good curve they had. You know, they had Legion Saboteur on one, Elise on two. Um, Grenadier plus other one mana spider on three. The six four overwhelm on four. Uh, Decimate on five. Darius on six. That'll do. Blow them to pieces. Do we have do we have like a three damage removal spell to kill Darius? No. We have vengeance, I guess. Oh, well that that just kills us. Direct assault. Yeah, that's a, that was a really, really impressive hand. All right, you got us. Oh, and one. The new, uh, the new upgraded Noxus Allegiance card is awesome. Being six four, that that fourth uh, health is really key. Oh, well, here's Twisted Fizz with Ionia that somebody was just talking about in chat. I do like Chronicler of Ruin a lot, but... I need something to Chronicler of Ruin first. Seven drop, seven drop, seven drop. 
Really? How do we draw four seven drops in a row? I don't even know what the odds of that are, but they're not good. Blood and guts, golden glory. They're not good. Four seven drops in a row. The order rewards its faithful. What delightful Well, that'd be nice to have the one extra mana for the missed call for Callista. They're gonna be killing. That's okay. That's two out of six. I must get out of here. Like a worm on a hulk. Like ten cards in hand. Skill and grace tear your heart away. Wow. All right, so Thresh is going to level up. It's going to be a lot of things dying. Especially on our side. So leveled up Thresh can put in Callista. Uh, Rekindler can put back in Callista. Five seven drops. We each died, then found hope. I will play my part. Grasping claws. Oh, I love that. I don't love it as much now. Just stay alive long enough. Return to us. Come on, Rekindler. No, stop. Stop with all these obliterating. Uh, let's see. Next turn we'll have nine mana. Yeah, they're not not a big fan of Callista. Jaw Hunters is just awesome. Yeah, those are some those are some good cards to draw. Callista will get there eventually. Definitely like definitely liked those two draws. Silent as death. Gotta go with the flow. So I'm going to be doing the Vile Feast on the Sprayfin, not the Shadow Assassin. Okay, never mind. On the Shadow Assassin now. Shadow 
should hopefully be us gaining enough life to stay alive. As is, we're going to eight, but that can change a lot. So they've already played two of the, the pump spell of the pocket aces. Dang. That's close. So warning shot gets him there. This isn't lethal. I just block the two rekindlers. <sighs> I wish, you know, if we just didn't have the spider, we could go rekindler here. Hmm. I don't, yeah, I just don't have a better option. No. Just don't have a good option. Really need this to. Yeah, I basically I just don't want them to, to draw a card. I'm doing this vengeance. I don't want them to draw a card. Uh, it looks like they. Got back. That kills the rekindler, so it turns on. Um, turns on Black Spear. Oh, that thing's gonna be impossible to, to deal with. I'll be surprised if we survive this. I'll be quite surprised. Okay, well, we just can't possibly survive. So the last turn, it wouldn't have worked out to just play Rekindler pre-combat either with them having the double Will of Ionia. That would not have worked out either. Our our hand and, and everything was just way too slow. You know, like drawing four seven mana cards in a row was just absurd. And then three draws later, another seven mana card. You know, we just much too slow. You know, we need Mist Race and... Uh, The what's Wraith Caller? There we go. Yeah, Mr. Wraith, Wraith Caller. Definitely want that kind of stuff. 
That's what it kind of seems like with this deck. It just seems like our, our stuff is too slow. I think I think we could use like Arachnid Horror. Get like another like two drop that's That's what it definitely feels like. We need another two drop that's good. While I like Miss Call a lot, I think we have too many Miss Calls. I think that's. I think we have too many Miss Call. Maybe even Hapless Aristocrat. Maybe even Hapless Aristocrat could be. Arachnid Horror. Something that impacts the game more. need a Withering Whale, these two. We can play Callista to block Blade Scout. Yeah, it looks like they were pretty careful about their green... Like, they were really careful about this Green Glade duo. Not wanting to start with that card. Make uh, blocking there makes the single combat better. Yeah, I could honestly see playing Oblivious Islander. I don't. I wouldn't play three Oblivious Islanders, but I could see playing one or two. It's a card that will a lot of times like you may not be able to actually really play it because you know you don't want to get rid of like your thresh or something. But I could see playing that. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Let's move. Full speed ahead. Well, this has worked out. Them having triple green glade duo against our vile feast withering whale. That's worked out for us. Not a great spot for them to be. We, we have no mercy. Does feel like Mr. Eighth, though, is a really important two drop for us to have, and we haven't had Mr. Eighth in any of these games. Does seem like a real important one. The especially Mr. Eighth Wraith Crawler. That that interaction, get a bunch of those. That's probably what we want to see the most in our opening hand, Mr. Wraith and Wraithcaller. Vamadinga. Hapless Aristocrat just doesn't do very much. You know, like, sure, it's a, it's a one drop, we can play it. But, I mean, it works okay with Caretaker and, yeah, give me Attacker on turn one, but it, it's a it's a 1-1. One, one. Like, it doesn't... Both Vi and Hybriding are so powerful. They're so powerful, they can turn the game so fast. Playing a 1-1 one, one that attacks for one is just not a threat. Gotta have real threats. That's not a threat. It's much better in the aggro matchups, right? Like, this is just not the matchup for that card. Risky. I would love to have Miss Call available. Let me untap. Let me untap. No.
go. We probably have too many missed calls. The dragon remembers. Got too many. This is the turn that, like, it's great for them that they don't play anything because now they can have Heimer Dinger plus three mana, which is just all they ever really want. Not Heimerdinger. That's definitely a good sign. combat work. Alright, so we're going to block here. My plan is block here, miss, miss call, bring it back. Next turn, Blighted Caretaker, kill this Spiderling, kill those. Do this where we have five mana left. Got a lot of mist rates. Not as much wraith. Caller. But we're trying over here. Trying our best. I still have tons and tons of cards over there because of Heimer Dinger. Getting the free cards. Alright, well, I'm gonna just fight. And. It's not a card you see that often, but that's a card that's perfect for this scenario. And then. Yeah, this 2-2 doesn't get to block these because of the fearsome, so that's good. It's too late for you. Darn. If we had one more mana, it could have drawn two. Well, they have a Vi. Got a good answer with uh, Vengeance. It's not really what I want to use Vengeance on. Fast as wind, light as air. 
I don't think we just keep on taking tons of damage, though. It's a great card for them to, to eat my vengeance. That was great. Obviously, want to use a champion with that. Entropy, a never -ending cycle. Yep. That worked out really well for them. So, of course, doing this so they don't get the 4 1. And we get to draw two. Keep them from getting the 4 1. Oh, right, that still denies the other thing, so. Still get a 4 1. Alright, not gonna play either of these. We we already used our attack token. Uh, but you know, we may have may have gotten like a Tiana or a Rekindler. We haven't seen Tiana or Rekindler, and so that could be really important to be able to Chronicler of Ruin either of those. And then Caretaker we may need saplings to take out one health. Uh, some one health units. Uh, Primer Dinger. Primer Dinger is y'all's fav least favorite card, also. Alright, let's bring in Callista. Not the Rash, but we can't kill that thing anyway. Card still not reasonable. The turrets have to cost mana. Like you can't just get all those free cards. And so many, so many units for zero mana, and so much, so much power with them. Just not reasonable. Okay. We just lost to this one a little earlier. We're we'll get one thrash. Sorry, puppy. No one's the wiser. Um, okay, cool. We got Miss Wraith. Good, we got Wraith Caller. It's one of the very best cards in our deck here, Wraith Caller. A card we just fear. haven't drawn the entire time. We haven't had Wraith Caller uh, in any of the previous four games. Finally got it. So it's a really important card for our deck. You dare. That's 
lots of damage. Yeah, love ha love having these wraith callers. I think a lot of those other games would, pro would go a lot differently if we just had one one wraith crawler to have. Okay. Nope. Oh, I can't wait. So they they basically do the same thing. I'm going with I'm going with the chronicler so we keep a wraith caller in hand because if if we play wraith caller and then both of our wraith caller dies, then our chroniclers look not as good. More Mason reporting for duty. Alright, single combat that. Single combat's pretty awesome, though. The other thing is, single combat should just be a 3 of. I forgot that we're only playing 2 of that card. That needs to be a 3 of. Yeah, like that, that just needs to be a 3 of. Okay, so you're gonna trade there. And then... We're going to... See, we're gonna go trade, trade. Jeez. We're gonna go down to five. Crash is like, all those things are dying. Why am I not in play? Just like, sorry, Thrash. Reset the health on this Wraith Caller. They can't block Mist Wraith, so that's them putting them down to three, so they have to block both of these. Your path ends here. So this is looking good unless they have the direct damage that can kill us. Yuck. That's a star. I mean, that's, that's all it is. They have to just draw a direct damage spell. We're just going to hold up Vengeance to kill anything with Overwhelm. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to kill our own unit, I guess. Uh, yeah, we can. so we can still do this. Okay. Yeah, we can still do this. Alright, so we're going to block. Vengeance, our own thing. And so now next turn, so I need to play Thresh pre-combat because I need to challenge the Legion Grenadier and have it, uh, you know, be last as far as blocking goes. I... I'll try anyone one. You go first. You go over here. GG's. Good game. That was that was a good game right there. Wraith Crawler, Chronicler of Ruin won us that game. Like without Wraith Crawler, we had no chance. Like that. That was uh, pretty intense. Um, but getting all those bodies with those Wraith Crawlers and Chronicler of Ruins and everything. So yeah, I think I think that could have masked masked a lot of the problems we had with the deck. Just drawing Wraith Crawler and getting the multiple bodies and, and then being able to do the cool stuff with Wraith Crawler, because uh, that's a lot of the stuff. Um, I would so yeah, I would take out a, a miss call, get a single combat in here. That'd be that'd be the step number one. And I think step number two, I think, like, right now, you have Mist Wraith, and that's it at two mana. And I don't, I think the metagame is too aggressive. I don't think that that's good enough. I think you need another good two drop that can pressure them and everything. And Arachnid Horror is pretty awesome. I, I would recommend playing these. 
Um, so, no, 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 it's all, all good. Yeah, didn't, we never drew Tiana a single time, did we? At least, like, we may have drawn it, like, the first game or something. Um, but yeah, so I, I recommend playing those, and then, uh, and then basically we can kind of trim around the edges. We can just kind of trim three cards um, around the edges. Uh, hey, Yud. He did. What's up? <laughs> hey, Yud. All right. Um, so, yeah, as far as that goes, probably... Ugh. I mean, maybe you just trim a, a Tiana. Maybe, we just go, maybe you just play one instead of two. I know that's, like, kind of the point of the deck. Is the Tiana. Um... I think either either a rekindler or a Tiana. One one of those has to be trimmed. Late celebration. Thank you, Yud. Yeah, and with the new schedule, yeah, the new schedule is a little confusing. If you go to if you click the schedule tab, if you're on like on browser, not on mobile. If you're on the browser here on Twitch and you click there's a there's a schedule tab. If you find that, uh, it does tell you the schedule in your in your local time zone and so that's pretty nice so you can check that and see ah so you can see the schedule in the local time zone but let's say we're going to keep Tiana, two tianas so then we're going to take out a rekindler and uh then we got to trim two other things maybe it's just another missed call maybe we just take out missed call honestly i mean the missed call is really cute but it was frequently like a dead card in hand or not very yeah maybe just take out miss call honestly it's unfortunate it's a really cool card i like the card but it's just not it it never it ne yeah it just it was uh it was costing us games you know it, it really was costing us games because it was just in hand we were drawing two of them drawing three of them and we weren't drawing units it's it showed like the downside of miss call because miss call has a huge upside like there's a, there's like some times where this miss call can just be incredible um you know especially with how how high this curve is how many amazing targets there are for missed calls like that it has a lot of potential but we saw the downside of the card in those games <laughs> all right but that's it here for zombie tiana those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments too what you think of the deck anything else if you try it out um, you know, any any uh, questions, comments about uh, Rune Terra at all, I'm always happy to answer them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.